Hi, this is Dr. Vivian Rogers, The Excellence Coach. Our desire, our aim, our passion is to empower individuals for global impact. Mediocrity flaunts potential with no intention of action. So when people that are mediocre, they'll always flaunt. I can do this and I can do that. What you can do is wonderful, but let's put it into action. Show me action. Proverbs 13 verse 16. Every prudent, subtle, crafty, sensible man deals with knowledge. In other words, he fashions with skill and accomplishes with understanding. But a self-confident fool, in other words, in, you know, the, in the brown driver, Briggs Hebrew definition, it actually uses the word stupid fellow. But a self-confident fool, a stupid fellow, an arrogant one, exposes and flaunts his folly. So they flaunt, I used to do this and I've done that. Okay, what you did in the past is not going to get you to the place where you need to be. You need to do today what needs to be done in order to get to where God wants you to be. So what are we talking about? Action. Let's become a people of action. Let's not be people that write a whole bunch of notes and we don't do anything with them. Let's not be a bunch of ministers that have all of the wealth of knowledge and wisdom and revelation. Remember, the knowledge is not power. Wisdom is power. What is wisdom? The ability to apply all of the knowledge. Wisdom is the ability to apply all of the knowledge that you have. That's wisdom. So wisdom is the ability to apply all of the knowledge you have to any given situation. That's what wisdom is. We have to be able to use the knowledge that we have. We have to grow by it. So mediocrity flaunts potential with no intention of action. And we have to recognize the things. We have to understand how important it is to not allow people to be mediocre in the ministry. And we must be mediocre. Raise the bar of excellence. Become accountable to the ones you say you belong to. If you belong to an organization, be accountable to them. Be accountable to, uh, you know, give feedback. Because one of the keys to becoming accountable or to train yourself to become accountable is to give constant feedback for every task of responsibility. Give constant feedback. So there are certain kind of leaders that want to be applauded for everything that they do. They don't take responsibility and say, you know, it's my responsibility to do this. So responsibility, when you take responsibility, you don't want a reward. And the reason why you take responsibility is because you know you're accountable unto God. I'm not doing it because I want a reward. I am doing it because I am taking responsibility for what I'm called to do. You have to understand that sense. It is so imperative that as men and women of God, we begin to raise the bond, we become aggressive with what we want done in our lives, what we want to achieve in our lives. We have to get to that place. We got to let the light of excellence shine. The light of Jesus has got to shine because excellence will never flaunt what it cannot produce. Excellence will never flaunt what it cannot produce. You have to become productive. You have to work with a definite goal in mind. And from today, I'm going to change that. From today, I'm going to become accountable. From today, I'm going to raise the bar. From today, I'm going to make sure that I don't flaunt what I cannot produce. Because if I'm, if I'm a person of excellence, I'm going to flaunt what I can produce. <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about what I cannot produce. 